I thought while I had some time, I would do a little video about the modifications we've done to the outside of the camper. Uh, other than the speed dent I made up on the front with the tree that we hit, we'll talk about other stuff. Um, well, this this is for the lighting for the running lights up at the top here, the, the marker lights. This is going to get tied in to the back under here. You can see the plug there. So we put the plug in there. That's where all that's going to get tied in. It'll I'll bring it in through the top and away we go. I've got the blue cord here, which is just an extension cord. That is what feeds us shore power. And the piece of loom is what's drawing 12 volt power from the front all the way to the back. And we bring it in back here up at the top and it, it runs the 12 volt box at the back that is switched for these lights here on the back, which were on the unit when we bought it. And then we have a 12 volt outlet cigarette lighter in the back as well. And in the last couple videos, you've seen that uh, we did put in a diesel heater, which I got to tell you, we're loving this thing. Um, we haven't had to use it very often because it's not that cold out yet. But I mounted the diesel tank on this side, ran the hose just down and through underneath here and tacked it up so that it wasn't gonna rub on anything. Around here, goes inside here where the pump and the filter are and then up through here and into the, into the unit itself to create the heat. This is the fresh air intake. This is exhaust, it's running right now, so I am not gonna to touch it. And it is working fantastic. It is actually too hot. Being that it only got down to about minus three or four here last night, we didn't have to leave it running any more than an hour just before we were going to bed. And with the Reflectix that we put in the windows, all the way around we put Reflectix in the windows, and it is it stayed 10 degrees all night. And that's exactly what we want, about 10 degrees. I turned the heater on this morning with the remote control just so that I wasn't freezing my butt off when I got up to get dressed. Other than that, I'm loving this camper. Of course, we are going to build out a bus, but for this year, this is the ultimate getaway. On, the, on top of my truck, we can go anywhere. We can just go anywhere with this thing. Absolutely love it. I should mention here too that uh, this is an eight foot camperette, of course. That's how they made them back in the 70s and 80s. And this is a crew cab truck with a mini box. It's, it's a short box, but it's shorter than most. So I've left the tailgate hanging down and yeah, I know it's gonna beat the bottom of the outside of the tailgate all the crap, but it was all rusty anyway. Didn't really care about that. But what we've done here for the for the uh, hitch, what we've done here for the hitch is my dad built an extension, which is more than capable of handling any weight we put on it. And we've got it tied in and I've got it locked in there. And here we've got a step that just slides in. It just slides in and out. Helps us to get in and out of the trailer, a little, camper a little bit better. Over here, no, you can't see it. It's buried. We bought one of those hitch cargo racks that uh, it just slides into the hitch receiver, locks in, and it allows us to take the propane outside if we want, but we carry the gas and the diesel outside. We carry gas for the truck and for the generator, diesel for the heater, obviously. We can throw a couple stacks of wood in there if we have to buy some. And on this end, I put the fire pit and that way we don't have to have anything inside so of course when we get home this stuff all has to come out and go in the yard when we bought the camper camperette this was the bottom so this was a, a, a floor they added a new floor and there's a two by twos around the inside that they used to attach it uh, what I did afterward was built a two by two frame here and this is insulated I put uh, inch and a half foam board inside their insulation, three-eighths plywood, and then more two-by-twos. The two-by-twos are to 
keep it up above off of the bed of the truck so that the water will run out and the boards won't rot. So I put that insulation in there to insulate the floor. And then over in here, where I did, I put, uh, this is just regular lattice, uh, laths, spruce laths, just regular board. It's very small, 3 8 or something like that. This is 3 8 plywood. I think the bottom was half inch plywood. This is 3 8 and inside here and up here is just some Reflectix, two layers of Reflectix, which really helps to insulate the camper. And we're hoping that over the course of the winter here, we can see just how well that has done for us, but we're pretty sure it's going to really help keep the heat in. So I'm gonna give you a tour of our camperette. It's on the back of the truck. Um, so we have our shelves here. These, we just, we bought them at Walmart, but we, we um, they're actually, uh, I don't know if I can show you, there we go. They're actually, um, attached to the wall so they don't slide out. This bungee just connects right down here. So you can see it comes up through the little hole there like that. And that stops it from any of the drawers sliding out while we're moving. It works perfect. And we have stuff in here that's like, this is our games and cards. Uh, this has, in, if we pull into uh, a place that has electrical or it's got lighters, it's got the odds and ends stuff. This one has, it's got our little um, backpack stove. It's got toilet paper. It generally carries our indoor outdoor thermostat. Um, this has dry goods. And then this one here holds all of our medications and stuff. Um, yeah, we, we're old, we have a lot of medications. But it also holds stuff like our um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, hairbrush, that kind of stuff. Okay, and then here we have the bed. And on the bed, we've made a few modifications. This bed is large enough, Chris is six foot three, and it is large enough for him to sleep on the bed stretched out. We do have little cubbies made right here. I don't know if you can see them well, but there. This thing that's all lit up here is like a cell phone charger. We got two cables and this is more than enough room to put anything that's charging down in there. And then we made window covers for our windows to keep the, the cold out in this case. So, and it also keeps the light out. So for those of us that are, you know, like to sleep late, it works great. Okay, and then on this side, we added these shelves in here. Now these shelves, are literally like the closet shelves that you would see but we just turn them upside down and attach them with the the little straps and we found these at the dollar store and they weren't perfect they fit in there perfectly and they don't slip and slide we each get one for the weekend one tub for the weekend and then we have two of them down here because it works perfect for the laptop height if we want to watch something. So we have a, a dog one and a dry goods one. Um, those go up here at the top where we have this stuff right now. Where we have that stuff. Um, it goes up there when we're driving and that lip is more than enough to hold anything in place. And then we have some towels over there. And we have our newest addition is this heater. This heater is working good, guys. I mean, like, woof, it is pumping out the heat. Um, I'm going to have to take my base layer off here shortly. And it's pumping out the heat. There's no smell. There is a, you can hear the blower going, which is not a problem. And sometimes you can hear the pump going. But it's a really dull, low, um, boom, boom, boom. So it, it actually helped me go to sleep. I just passed out last night gone and then we put the carpet on this it goes all the way back um, the carpet around these we put them on both of them it actually does help with the insulation it also helps keeping things from flying off of there so and the carpet there does actually help to keep things from sliding off or anything while we're driving and we have two bungee cords there that we actually use. We attach it to the wall and then down to, I don't know if you can see those little eye hooks right there. Those eye hooks um, 
we use it for the bungee cord and it holds in our chairs, camper chairs, our 10 by 10, that kind of stuff. Works great, holds it in place. We don't ever have to worry about it. And then we have, so this bed is a bit of a, an amazing thing. So Chris and I can sleep on this bed just fine um, with no problem. But this bed will also turn into a sofa because you can take this board here and you just bring it down and move it to the back and you flip the back one up and it becomes the back of the sofa. And what that does is it allows us to sit up straight in here if uh, we get caught in the rain and we can't sit outside or, uh, you know, whatever. Because Chris can definitely not sit up on the bed straight and I can do it in certain places, but not all of them. We do have that little handy shelf up there that is kind of a catch-all. We have lanterns up there, we have baby wipes, stuff like that. Uh, Chris puts his glasses up there at night. Sometimes my glasses go up there at night. Sometimes they don't because I'm known for losing everything. But yep, that's our camper in a nutshell. And that little fob thing right there, that thing is our remote for the heater. So we don't have to get out of bed if we wake up and it's chilly in here we can just start it from in bed and wait until the heat kicks on so that's kind of awesome anyway that's our camper have a good night so this is the one of the eye bolts that we use to um, attach the bungees to to hold all of our chairs and 10 by 10 and all that stuff there's the other one and they attach to this eye bolt here to this I built here.